What's up guys? Welcome back to another one. Before we get into it today, I want to tell y'all that the ducks calls are all back in stock. Duck calls, single reed, double reed, acrylic, Delrin, all the goose calls are back in stock. I will link them down below in the description. I've had a lot of questions about them and they are all available and in stock. Get them while they last. Let's get into this hunt. Blacker smackers working like a dream. <laughs> about it not floating right but out here this place is so shallow and well like you said we didn't have it trimmed right yeah dude it's doing great yeah it works good put a guy all the way in the front for some weight yeah we had two dozen decoys up there and another guy it was fine gotcha well we are here boys and gals it's public time yeah <laughs> what up y'all and welcome back to another one. Oh, we got the old quacker smacker out here uh, a lot of you guys have seen the last video uh, about the Quacker Smacker, me and Preston's little duck boat. We didn't think it was going to work. We had it trimmed way wrong. The motor was trimmed way off. And Preston, he was like, dude, it works perfect. And I was like, no way. Sure enough, she's ripping, boys. We're going to get to the spot. I'm going to show you what's going on. The boys got it. The boys got to the spot at 3 a.m. I woke up at 4 a.m. Got here about got here about uh, 10 minutes ago. We're sitting right at 6 o'clock. But just want to let you guys know the public land hunts are back. Me and old P. Diddy are going to be smashing public land as much as we can before we start guiding clients. So all the public land fans, get ready. Oh, it does get tight. These are little channels. Holy smokes. The old quacker smacker just getting it done in the backwoods in here. I guess there's no woods. This is just backwater up in here. Preston said that if someone sits up next to us, uh, this is a little hole. So if they end up sitting next to us, they're going to be real you-know-what. Uh, punks, put it that way. Yesterday, he got sat up on by like three different groups. Hopefully, it don't happen today. Holy smokes. We have been in these little cuts in between these cattails for a long time. Oh, here we go. Here's some open water. Well, well, we are here. You boys got the spread already set up. What's up, partners? Howdy. Howdy, howdy. How are you guys? Good. Early morning, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two in a row. Two in a row. Holds her down. You had to walk back here to find this yesterday? Uh, we did. We hunted here second week in the teal, and we walked in. Holy from smokes! The dike over there. Wow, this is back in here. Yeah. Well, we're about 15 minutes out here. We got two jerk rigs, two spinners, and probably about five dozen decoys. Check out the rig. That boat is bright. The old boat's doing work. Well, we're gonna stuff our little boat here in the cattails. Here comes P. Diddy. He got to run for it. He's gonna try to make it in these cattails as far as he can go. Probably not gonna go very far. Come on, baby! <laughs> Come on! No, just like I thought. Come on, baby! Having issues? That'll work. Yeah, that ain't bad. We can use it right there. Oh, That's sweet. Huh? Oh, so we want to use the boat to put all of our stuff on while we no, just this one. stand out here. <laughs> well, there's the first shots of the morning. <laughs> nice shot, boys. God, he was close. Yeah, he was real close. close. I didn't see him coming. Who's came him? right over your head. Yeah, I, dude, I barely got the camera on in time for him. First duck down. Preston back. Devin, that was all you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, we can see what we're doing. We're live, baby. Oh yeah. Heck One yeah. duck down. Hey, hey, on the left heel. Ooh. Ooh. Yep, here they come. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. 
I ain't doing it. Oh, that was a taker. That <laughs> shot. That. Somebody shot and they flared hard. Yeah. I just don't want to chase them. Shoot. Oh, oh nice shot. shot. Right on top. Look how many above us. Nice shot. Teal down. Came right in there. That was beauty. Evan, I'd tenderize that one. Nice shot. Dude, this is a nice little spot. I know. It's nice not having people yeah. 200 yards from us. I we did not way. get sat up on. Someone's over here about how far would you say? A couple hundred yards. three hundred. On the other side of the cattails, mm -hmm. but that ain't bad. Yeah, he is blowing his call something fierce. He just hasn't quit. And I haven't heard him really shoot. <laughs> I don't no. think the calling helps. You know? Uh, no, not out here. Public land calling just never helps. No, not when there's 60 people hunting one pool. Yeah. Uh, but two ducks down, uh, as you can tell, the GoPro's gonna be good enough in the light now. We're gonna start shooting. If you guys are the public land fans, you gotta smash the thumbs up. Let me and me blip. Let me and P. Diddy know down below in the comments section. Uh, do you guys want to see more public land hunts or private land hunts? Probably I, public land. I guarantee it. They're fun. Yeah, they are fun. Shoot him, shoot him. Oh, oh get him. <coughs> Hold on, he might come back. Dude, they come out of nowhere. We got a bunch of missed opportunities. <laughs> that's what happened yesterday, and that's why we <laughs> didn't do quite as well as we wanted. <laughs> Is that your new ammo bag? Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty legit ammo bag, dude. Works perfect. That's sweet. Oh, coot. We gotta give one the <laughs> give one coot. Just give her give her the hammer, huh? You gotta eat it. Not chay, that's fine. You know, I bet if you chop it up, yeah, breast them out, throw it in a bag. It'd be hard to tell. Yeah. Come on. Well, where there's two flying, there's more following. Look at all the. Look at all the specks there too. Yeah, there's a ton. Uh, this morning here, right before shooting light, all the specks got up, and I don't. From what I've seen, I mean, what's your Educated guess on how many specs? I don't know. Thousands. <laughs> Thousands. There's a bunch. Thousands of specs are already here, and I there's a ton. I uh, I had some uh, a fan DM me yesterday, and was like, "Hey, we're going to the bottoms," or we went to the bottoms. So I was like, "How'd you do?" He's like, "We shot three till and saw ten thousand specs." Yeah. Lots of specs moving. Oh yeah. Don't shoot. Ah. <laughs> he did not like us either. He was looking. Yeah, he was slowing down. I thought we were gonna have a shot. Well, it's been shooting light for how long? 25 minutes? Yeah. 30? 25. Sounds it has cool. really slowed down. Uh but that's how they said it kind of worked yesterday. Saw a bunch of shooting light there and and then just kind of slowed down and then picked back up at what time you think? Eight. Eight. The amount of specs is unbelievable. Oh, right here. Come on. Come over the top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big zero there, boys. <laughs> Dang it. Well, I wanted to squeeze the trigger, dang it. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I got that out of my system. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That was a dude, and he didn't just barely die. He was holding. Man. Yeah, that wow. was sweet. That was nice. I pulled up, but I was I wasn't even gonna shoot because I was like, <laughs> see, that's why we take those shots on public land. If everybody else is doing, well, it, he we only can do look, it. he only fell ten yards out of the decoys. 
That was fun. He might have been at 50 here, but now he's at 20 here. Shoot, chalk one up for the boys. That was a shot, dude. Nice, <laughs> plucked him. That's a good point. That's weird. We shot at him over the overhead. They turned around on the right, came back. Came right back. Gave it a look. That was weird. Public land. <laughs> Never know. Dude, I was not, I was thinking the same thing. We're cracking up. We're listening to everybody call around us. They're calling. They're trying to call specs. They're calling ducks. What do you got there? A hen wigeon. A hen wigeon. Hold them up for the people at home. First wigeon for me of the year. Yeah. And you. Oh, we shot one yesterday. Oh, you did ya? Look at that. Sweet. Kind of tag teamed it, but I'm pretty sure you smoked it. I don't know. I think I backed you up. You stoned them. I'm pretty, we'll, we'll see on the shot cam hopefully, but pretty sure. You smoke a roni it. There is feathers everywhere out there. Really? It looks like it hit the water and they oh, all just yeah, smacked all off because he back. fell from so far. Ooh. Uh, oh. We need an oak counter. I know. Oh. Oh. I wonder how many times we've already said oak. Oh, Evan's the king of it. <laughs> He said, oh, 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 like, like a hundred times yesterday, didn't he, Evan? Oh, yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is a good guy, Evan. This guy out here just, I don't, honestly, honestly, I don't think this guy over here, 200, 150 yards away, I don't think he stopped calling for two minutes all morning what time is it what what time is it uh, 8 30. 8 30. yeah he's definitely been blowing that call the whole time i don't think there's even any ducks around him he didn't care he did not care kept flying well, check it out. Here's the decoy spread. Since we're slow, I figured I'd show you it. Jerk rig over here. Spinner. And then another pot of decoys. Spinner. Butt squirter. And then third pot of decoys. Jerk rig. Looking pretty good, boys. I mean, for public land, I don't know what else you do. No idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Man, you're just looking B.A. out here, dude. Man, I'm... I'm I'm beat from the last two days of public land duck hunting with a thousand of my best friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you camped out here. Yeah. You guys brought uh, the camper. Yep. Devin's got a nice little rig. A little toy hauler. Everything we needed. We didn't think we needed the heat the first night and it got down to 32. Oh. And we, we, we were all chilly. Uh. But it was, it was a lot of fun. That right there is a typical Cheyenne Bottoms hunt. Uh, what do we got? We got three. Yep. A widgeon, teal, and what was that big duck? That they what shot. What else did we shoot? Spoonie maybe? Spoonie? You got a spoonie down there? I don't know. I think it's two teal and a widgeon. Who's got the other teal? I got a teal. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Teal and widgeon. The screen is just fuckered up bad. So, how's the, uh, how's the boat running for you? You like it? Really good. Really? All we need to do is get the throttle hooked up because it's still kind of a pain to reach back and use the stock one. Right. She's, uh, some reason taking on a little bit of water there. I think, I think that was also from us this morning. Oh, you when think? When we put it in, when we back it in, it takes water over the back. Ah. Oh, coming from the back, boys. Shoot him. Oh, we should have shot him right there. Out front. Oh, this one's going to do it. Shoot him. Nice. nice shot. Yeah, pintail, pintail down. We can't pick up. We're just picking up. 
Were you filming? Yeah. Good. Way to go, P. They Dude. Came from way over yeah, there. Dude. They swung all the way around, Every came rock. back. Nice. nice shot. Yeah, yeah. Pintail, pintail down. We can't pick up. We were just picking up. Were you filming? Yeah. Good. Way to go, P. <laughs> they came from way over here. Dude. Was dumb they they swung. That was awesome. Well, maybe we shouldn't pick up. What do you think? I guess Give we'll it another 15. Give it another 15. You're right. Yeah, I got the. That's awesome. I got like right, right before you. Look, shot. we were picking up. I put the cap on the can gun camera and everything. Darn it. Well, I'll take that. Chalk one up for the good guys. Who shot? Me and someone else? All of us? We all, <laughs> all of us. He ain't getting out of here. Boy. Looking like Captain Morgan up there. <laughs> Boat's looking good. She's been running good. Yeah. Uh, minor leak. I don't know what's going on with the leak. Think the plug's leaking or you uh, think we got a crack? A little crack or something, but. We, uh. It could be coming in these little side walls too. Yeah. Definitely got a leak down in there. A bunch of water was in that from putting it in too, but. Oh, yeah, true. I don't know how much. We've it definitely added. taken on some since we got here. Yeah. Um, but, uh, what did we scratch? Five ducks? Yep. Five ducks. That's a Cheyenne Bottoms hunt right there. I mean, you can't, uh, what, how many did you guys shoot yesterday? Five ducks. Oh, you shot five yesterday yeah. too? Or six. Did we shoot five? Yeah, I think five ducks. Five? I think five, yeah. Redhead, Widgeon. What else did you shoot yesterday? Bufflehead and Bufflehead spoons. And spoons. That's a, man, that's a mixed bag right yeah. there. Not a bad day. I'm glad this bad boy works. I'm glad that you had faith in her and you wanted to give her another shot. She needed it. I was just gonna say. It's perfect for here and deep water. Uh, the, the motor's touching the bottom in this entire marsh anyways. Yeah. So it's chopping through the mud, pushing it along. It works great. Uh oh. Hey. <laughs> uh oh, thank goodness. Come on, baby. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. She's being a little temperamental. Come on, girl. Evan! <laughs> Don't leave us yet! Hang on. <laughs> Better make sure we got gas. I uh, filled, filled it up last night. I smell gas. It kind of sounds dry. <laughs> what are you saying in there? Oh, there's plenty. Plenty of fuel. Okay. Pull that prop out of the mud or something. There you go. There you go. Oh, shoot. Oh. Why is it doing that? Yeah, let her warm up. Let her warm up a minute. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> You're bad luck. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something about it being my fault. <laughs> oh, now we're off to the races, buddy. There she goes. Yeah. All right. All right. She just needed to warm up and idle for a minute. Oh, rip it now. We're off to the races, boys and girls. Big shout out to all the girl hunters out there. Been getting some good comments from me all saying, hey, thanks for not forgetting about us. Uh, love to see the women getting out there and uh, getting into the sport. Get out there, give it a go. I promise you're gonna like it. That was a good little spot. Good little spot.
Come on, girl. There you go. Give me some rock. Did you get left behind? What are you doing here? Waiting for you guys to get stuck. Oh, we're not stuck. We're good. Old duck poop doing work. Oh, yeah. I gotta say, I was pretty, 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 not very optimistic that the boat was gonna end up working. And she is, she's a trooper. Well, how'd it go? Went good. Did you drive all the way through there? Huh? Did you drive all the way through oh, there? Yeah. That's pretty impressive. You get the prop down it, nothing like just pushes you right through. You got a decoy hanging there. Oh. 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 Come on, buddy, get in here. All right. Yeah, that did pretty good. I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, me too. Well, we made it to the big water. Check it out. Uh, this is Cheyenne Bottoms. If you guys have never been here and you're looking for a good public place to check out, Cheyenne Bottoms is the biggest. I think it's the biggest man-made one. It's so man-made, like the dikes and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the biggest man-made wetland in the nation so if y'all have been looking for a place to go try some walk-in or small boat kayak you can bring your kayak here it's a really good place for a kayak come to Cheyenne Bottoms try it out uh, I would say today uh, was a normal Cheyenne Bottoms day four or five ducks I've had a lot worse a lot worse but I get a lot of questions of Bob where should I where should I go hunt you know, at Cheyenne Bottoms, which pool's the best? Guys, Cheyenne Bottoms is an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes away from, from my house, so I really can't scout it much. I just show up and give it my best, you know? But big shout out to the boys. They camped here all weekend, and uh, they did the scouting, and good little hunt today. I'll take it. Especially getting a widget and a pintail down. Oh boy. I must say, this is going to be interesting. They warned me about this. Uh, P. Diddy has to use his enclosed trailer to haul the boat because the boat trailer's tires, bearings, axles, they're just old and worn out. So, <laughs> put the ramp in the water and slide her on, boys. You know I'm coming after you. Borrowing Gerald's truck, using the enclosed for a boat? Mm-hmm. Bottom of the barrel out here. Redneck ingenuity. <laughs> Oh my. Hey, hey, you know what? Good thing everyone left. Good thing yeah. we're the last ones pulling out. Yeah. We'd have a show here. A little oh, embarrassing. <laughs> Do what? Oh, that's on here. It's the only reason why Preston stayed so long. Why? So no one had to stay yeah. Hey, better. we better stay another, fi oh, another 15, guys. Another 15. A little embarrassing is right. You would think Bobby Guy Special would be a little more fancy than this. Wow. Even bought a winch, huh? And it don't work. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh! I forgot to hook up. What the? Oh, this is too good. I was like, oh, perfect. Go ahead. You gotta explain why the tray, the boat is in this trailer because I did. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, the tires, axle. <laughs> There we go. I see what you're working with. We are field goose hunters. <laughs> this is what you get when you bring us to public land marsh. Hey, I leave tension on it. Wow. Wow. What a unit. <laughs> I can't quit laughing. This is too good. That would be perfect though. Something breaks down and you need to pull it in here. Yeah, true. Look, the whole door. This trailer was brand new last year, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> there, at least there's no electronics or anything in there. 
<laughs> that that trailer was brand new last year, Peter. Well, you gotta use it. Yeah. I'm proud of you using her. Whoo! Well, made it home. Um, I'm actually gonna go right inside, edit this video up for y'all, and post it today, being Sunday. So, if you appreciate that, drop a comment down below. Um, also, another thing before I show you something here that I bought. Um, I've been asking you guys, do you guys like the longer videos? I don't know how long this one ended up being, but man, I'd love for them to start being around 30 minutes. If you guys like that idea, let me know down in the comments, please. I would appreciate it. Oh, there's always something coming in the mail. Let me tell you, boxes, boxes. I've been buying a bunch of stuff because uh, guys season starts our first hunt will be november 4th so uh a lot to do almost done just gotta clean the guide check that's literally the last thing and then organize trailers these will all go in the trailers i'll show you these in one second but as far as the hunt goes like i always do i like to come home after the hunt recap it um couple things first off this is exactly what I expected out of the bottoms and I mean Cheyenne bottoms this is this is grade a Cheyenne bottoms hunting right there um, not as much shooting going off and what's crazy it's kind of the opposite of what we think if there's less hunters that you might do better at Cheyenne bottoms I believe it's the other way around uh, the more hunters the better you're gonna do in the long run in the grand scheme of things depending on how many birds are there and what I mean is the more hunters the more areas of that huge marsh gets hunted and those birds get kicked around and they stay kicked up and they probably you know honestly get shot at and then find enough they probably get tired and eventually just settle into a spread where they get shot uh, but there's a lot of shooting and when there's a lot of shooting it seems like I've always done a lot better. If you guys agree, drop a comment down below. It's not like a lot of marshes. A lot of marshes are small. The bottoms, like I said, it's the largest man-made marsh, uh, wetland, in the nation. So it's huge. There's parts that don't get hunted every day and there's parts that do get hunted every day. And uh, there's parts that are packed and parts that aren't with hunters. And I, I just believe when there's more hunting, better success rate just keeping the birds moving around well, you know the deal I have to take care of old Frederick come on buddy well did you miss me I'm sorry I'm sorry you didn't get to go I'm sorry you a sad boy oh Freddy, I'm sorry just wasn't enough room in the boat big shout out to the scoop dog food for hooking up old, uh, old Fred they've been hooking him up all right this is what I wanted to show y'all no, all right, real quick, I want to show you these. I've been looking for a new A-frame chair, a blind chair, and uh, there's some of them I like and some of them I don't. Uh, a lot of them that I do like, excuse the loud car. A lot of them that I do like are lower, kind of like a bucket. I love sitting on buckets because it gets you lower in the A-frame, but, when we have bigger boys, like clients, in the blind, they need a better seat. So I bought these bad boys. I don't even know how they work yet. This is the first time I've unboxed them. Ooh, that's slick. Look at that. Padded. Ooh. Yeah, those are nice. Oh, they swivel. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they swivel. Dang, them are nice. Heck yeah. One thing about finding quality hunting products, and before I get there, uh, yes, I do work with a lot of sponsors and partnerships that I always have, and no, I don't work with a few others. And there's reasons why a lot of people have been asking me on Instagram, and um, I just haven't felt like it's necessary to, to, necessary to talk about it. Uh, it's just messy. Someone said, did you drop blank or did they drop you? I was like, I did not get dropped. I've never been dropped. Um, just uh, things happen, I guess. 
and um, some roads have to uh, you know <laughs> separate I guess easiest way to put it it's business and business is business is business and um, I was thinking I might cover that subject or and those subjects on the podcast uh, all of you that have been subscribed to the podcast have been loving it um, we're just getting back in from Alaska a new episode will be going up and it might be that one next so stay tuned to that that's what I was gonna get to buying hunting products quality hunting products it's a little tough right now because uh, everyone is out of about everything the ammo shortage is one thing uh, big shout out to federal for hooking me up man they've always been in my corner um, you know chairs blinds spinning wing de decoys just about everything uh, is going out of stock but especially ammo guys if you come across ammo you better you better grab it up um, those of you that are overstocking and not letting it, anybody else have a opportunity to get ammo like at Walmart or wherever it might be come on we got to share the wealth a lot of a lot of folks don't have any so but I want to thank you all for being here that's I'm done babbling some more public hunts coming your way a uh, public land Alaska hunt yes that should be up next or the video after but thank you all for being here subscribe if you have it hit that little notification bell down there it'll notify you when I upload be safe out there guys be safe uh, watch your shooting lanes keep the safeties on until you don't need them on anymore and be nice to people be nice to each other the hunting industry needs it <laughs>